All right, welcome back. We're gonna do another screen share for this particular answer. This is part of our series, Thinking About Becoming a TC, Frequently Asked Questions for New and Aspiring TC. So what is the next question on our list? And by the way, this is a long blog. There is a lot of questions answered in here um, and a lot of information, free links, resources, everything else like that. But the one that we're on right now is my business is growing. And although our business is designed, provide leverage to others, I think I'm either ready or close to being ready to looking for some leverage as well. Where can I learn more about working with and hiring a remote partner or a virtual assistant or a VA? Um, you're going to hear me use the phrase, I'll just be real clear up front, you're going to hear me use the phrase remote partner. I don't love the phrase uh, virtual assistant or VA. I think of everybody that I work with as I am partnering with them and they happen to not be sitting at the office with me. So they are remote partners okay so that's why i call them remote partners you may have heard them called uh, virtual assistants or vas same thing it's just different title so here's what i'm going to recommend that you do is i'm going to recommend um, that you do a little bit of a deep dive on this particular topic we know that we get this question a lot so not only hey david where do i even find a remote partner or a va um, aren't there organizations that can help me do that they will find candidates help me with the interview process actually provide health benefits and everything else like that Yes, the answer is yes, 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 yes. So what we've done, what I'm gonna recommend that you do when you're on our website is go to the free tools and uh, resources. Uh, the free tools and resources, if you scroll down, what you're going to see, uh, there's a ton of free tools and resources and one of them has to do with remote partners. Where is it? There it is right there, right next to the frequently asked questions, is uh, tools, content, and resources for remote partners. So what we've done is we've put together, we have so much content on this topic. I mean, a crazy amount of content on this topic. So it's hard to find it all. Some of it is in blogs. Some of it is um, in uh, YouTube uh, videos. Some of it is, I mean, it's kind of all over the place. So here's what we did. Trying to make this easy. Whoops. That's turn that off for a second okay so if you click on this right here where it's uh you see this red here that's an actual blog and what that is going to do it's a single blog where we put links to all of those resources in one place so the number one uh resource that a lot of people are looking for is this blog that we've written here i'm going to go back to that one in a second why that one's so important uh, we get other people that say hey i want to honor uh my uh remote partner and how do I do that? If they live over in the Philippines, how do I send them a gift? How do I send them a book? How do I send them flowers? So we've got a blog all about that and all the different link, links and resources to be able to honor and respect your remote partners. We've got video interviews with remote partners that have been on my team and I've worked with. We've got uh, videos with uh, people that own remote partner organizations. Um, I've got a whole playlist that has, I don't know, maybe a dozen videos in there uh, just around remote partners. But let's go back up to this one. I think this is the one that a lot of people want to start with. So if you go to this particular blog, this blog is going to do a couple things. Number one, it's going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about hiring, um, um, onboarding, uh, training, managing, working with a remote partner. The next thing that it's going to do is one that we get questions all the time. Hey, David, what is the organization that you work with um, uh, that your uh, remote partner is actually affiliated with? I'm not just going to promote one company for this. What I'm going to do is we're going to provide you a list of resources with a number of companies that will provide the types of services that people are asking me about. Okay. We are are not affiliated with any one specific organization. But I will tell you why these names are on this specific list. When I'm working with a remote partner and we hire a, an organization to help us find a remote partner, here's what I'm looking for. Number one, I don't think of hiring someone over in the Philippines as any different as hiring someone here uh, in the States that's five miles down the road. I believe that they deserve to have a full compensation package. And for me, a full compensation package doesn't include just their base 
pay. It does include if I want to keep them and I don't want turnover, I should be concerned about what type of benefit package can I provide to this candidate. Now, if I'm not willing to think that far ahead, they should be looking for other people to work for. And eventually, even if they said yes to work with me, they still are probably in the background looking for a better opportunity with a better compensation package. So all of these organizations, um, at the time that we wrote this blog, I can't guarantee that they still do, but that wasn't that long ago. Every single one of them, when I said, if we hire a candidate through your organization, do they get full health benefits? And the answer for all of these organizations was, Yes. Now, I'm going to mention one other thing beyond that that is not true for all the organizations. Some of the organizations, they actually provide full health benefits to your candidate and one other family member. So um, I have uh, someone that I worked with for over two years uh, through one of these organizations. They went ahead, they had health benefits, and they had the one extra, and their husband already has health benefits. So that health benefit actually went to their mother and their mother absolutely used those health benefits. That is a huge benefit to our team members. Okay. So that's one thing is, are they able to provide health benefits? Um, Cause that, that's part of the full compensation package as far as I'm concerned. The second thing is I know when I'm paying my monthly fee to these organizations that they have a profit margin. So they keep some of it and some of it goes to the candidate. Okay. Now with that, from time to time, I like to give bonuses, performance bonuses, holiday bonuses, whatever it is, whatever the bonus structure is that you want to do. Here's what I care about. Okay. When I give a bonus, does my candidate actually get a hundred percent of the bonus or like the original uh, monthly fee that I'm paying? Is that a split? Okay. So all of these organizations have told me that they provide health benefits. And number two, if I wanted to bonus my candidate, my team member, whatever you want to call them, do they get 100% of that bonus? And all of them said they do. Now, the reason why I'm not going to promote any one of them, because any one of them can change their policies at any time, but you have quite a few of them to look at and check out. The last thing that I am going to um, recommend to you besides going to this blog and look at all those resources. If you're a member, every course that we have is included for that $12 a month. So you have, if you're a member, you already have access to this course. Do not go to the store page and go buy uh, the leadership course um, because it is free within your membership. We have a leadership course and that leadership course in the store actually, um, uh, it was based off of the fact of what does leadership look like for people that are leading remote partners or remote teams? That is the, that is the whole basis of that leadership course. And um, I'm telling you right now, we have gotten so much good feedback on that particular course. Um, it talks about the interview process, the hiring process, the onboarding, the training, uh, the leading, the managing, what does a one-on-one -on -one meeting look like, all of those types of things. Um, and I'm telling you right now, if you have not gone through that course, I think the course, um, it's between two to four hours long. I don't know the, the length of it off the top of my head, but I will tell you that uh, I think that's a very, 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 very important uh, set of training. Um, and there's tools in there, 30, 60, 90 tools, all of that kind of stuff is in there. Um, and I'm telling you right now, that's almost requirement for leadership on anybody I work with. Um, I think that's if you're going to be hiring and working with remote partners or remote team members. It's a required, required course. So anyways, that are those are some of my feelings on answering. Um, I might be ready for leverage. What does it look like to actually hire someone as a remote partner, whether it's locally 10 miles down the road, but they're not going to work with you in your office or they're over in the Philippines. Either way, same answer for me. So hope that helps you guys. There's a bunch of resources for you there. Take care. Bye-bye.